Hi, everyone, and welcome to part two of Goodbye Greenwashing. In part one, we spoke about the natural movement and how it's changing the cosmetic industry. We walked through some of the common certifications in the industry, and today we're going to focus on one certification method, which is our recommendation for the quantitative definition of natural. We are honored to have Kate Lewis with us from the United States Department of Agriculture. Hi, Kate. Hey, Audrey. Goodbye greenwashing is right. And hello, BioBase. My name is Kate Lewis. I'm a program analyst here at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And in that role, I support our bio-based markets program or our bio-preferred program. And I very much appreciate you giving me some time this afternoon to explain more about that. Thanks for being here. Kate, could you tell me a bit about this program and how it got started? The Bio-Preferred Program was created by a statute in the 2002 Farm Bill, Audrey. It was also reauthorized in the most recent Farm Bill, the 2018 Farm Bill. Now, Farm Bills are legislation that shape federal food and agriculture policy. And the Farm Bill directed USDA to develop a voluntary certification and labeling program for bio-based products. It also requires federal agencies and their contractors to give purchasing preference to bio-based products. So one program called BioPreferred, two implementation measures, voluntary certification and labeling and mandatory federal government purchasing. The overall goal of the program, of course, being to spur growth and innovation in virtually every sector of the economy through this increase in use of bio-based ingredients and finished bio-based products. There once were only a few specialty brands that touted bio-based content in their formulations. Today, bio-based ingredients are found in many product categories and by venerable brands. This has obviously helped grow the bio-based economy, one of the most important goals of the program. So what exactly are bio-based products, and what does the USDA Certified Bio-Based Products label mean? Bio-based products are derived from plants and other agricultural, marine, and forestry materials. Some examples of bio-based ingredients or feedstocks used to make these products are soybeans, corn, sugarcane, jute, even algae. You can find bio-based products or materials in products in everything from construction and janitorial items to personal care products like lip balm, baby wipes, and hand lotions. Many products have some amount of bio-based ingredients. Yet to become certified by our BioPreferred program, a product must contain a minimum percentage of bio-based ingredients to meet our set standards. Only by meeting or exceeding these minimum bio-based contents does a product or package earn the right to display the label. So there's a minimum threshold for bio-based content that a product must meet in order to meet the standard. How would I know if our products meet the standard? Great question, Audrey. You know, the short answer is a product's bio-based content is its ratio of new organic carbon to total organic carbon. Going deeper, it's a technically scientific-based method that's used to measure that. Our program uses a test method called ASTM D6866, and that test method calculates the bio-based carbon given the ratio of new organic carbon. New organic carbon comes from plants or agricultural-based materials to total organic carbon. Total organic carbon is the amount of a product's new organic carbon in addition to its old or fossil fuel-based organic carbon. As always, inorganic carbon and water are excluded from this equation. So what types of products can be certified? Audrey, today there are more than 3,800 USDA certified bio-based products in the BioPreferred Programs catalog. 
Our catalog can be found online on our website at biopreferred.gov. And this catalog is organized by types of products in, in more than 130 product categories ranging from baby and kid products to cleaning products, cafeteria materials, industrial lubricants, personal care products, and even toiletries. And virtually every consumable product is represented in our catalog, and it really is the largest collection, as we know it, of independently verified bio-based products anywhere. So how do I go about getting an ingredient or finished goods certified? I'm glad you asked, Audrey. The process to become certified really is fairly simple. All it takes are these three steps. Step one, apply for certification. This involves registering your product in our online catalog. Again, to do that, you have to go to www.biopreferred.gov, complete and submit a certification application that's found on our website. Step two, Then and only then do you schedule the third-party testing of your product or products. This is very important because the testing can only be completed after the product registration on our website has been initiated. To schedule testing, you contact an approved lab and send product test samples and then await the results, which usually come back between two and three weeks. Step three Once your product is approved and certified, you'll be officially welcomed into the BioPreferred program. We'll then send you all the information you need to properly display this certification and label mark that you earned for your bio-based product and will help you promote your certification. I should note that products are subject to periodic audits by our program team, and we do require occasional retesting of bio-based products. We do this in order to maintain the program's integrity. So Kate, could you tell me a bit more about the label itself? How would I use it and what does it represent? That's a great question, Audrey, because why would manufacturers want to work with USDA and certify the product if they wouldn't use the label on the product or its packaging? So once your product is certified, we recommend that You use the label on product packages as well as in marketing materials and on product-based website pages. You can also refer to the percent USDA-certified bio-based content of your product in all of your promotional materials related to that product. The label demonstrates the percent bio-based content that was, if you remember, the result of the ASTM D6866 testing. For formulators, this helps them easily see how natural an ingredient is that they might want to integrate into their finished product. And for finished goods, consumers are able to easily see how natural this product is. One of the changes that we've seen in the personal care products industry specifically is consumers are sophisticated and they're eager, and that's translating into a change in consumer purchase behavior at retail. They're actually picking up the product, turning it around, and looking on the back of the product for the label. We, on the BioPreferred program, call this phenomenon doing the twist, and so we're advocating doing the twist for BioBase. This seems like a really powerful and tangible way to answer the important question floating around our industry right now, which is, what is the definition of natural or plant-based? Are many companies using this certification in personal care? We've definitely seen a rise. Over the past two years, the number of bio-based products that have earned USDA-certified bio-based product status has increased by more than 40%. Personal care products in particular have been an especially active category. Right now, there are close to 800 products that have been certified by the BioPreferred program. These are products like lotions and moisturizers, sun care products like sunscreen, lip, hair, and face care products, and shaving products. We've really seen a tremendous growth in this category. As we discussed in part one of this Edu series, 
There are many drivers within the personal care industry moving the industry to more natural and bio-based products. I'm not surprised to see more customers using the BioPreferred program to certify their products. So Kate, why do you think the sudden interest in bio-based products has come to the personal care industry? You know, Audrey, like other consumer products industries, it's being driven by three things, advancing science, manufacturer innovation, and the resulting changes in consumer demand. According to the third annual Green Beauty Barometer, more than six in 10 women now read beauty product labels prior to purchase. Me, 69% of women aged 35 to 54, me, say purchasing natural products is important to them. And 37% of women plan to purchase more green beauty products over the next two years compared to what they currently do. And I think you'd agree that most industry experts in the personal care world think that these numbers will only rise in the coming years. Yes, I would definitely agree that the interest in ingredients, naturality, and sustainability is increasingly important to the personal care consumer. And in turn, the cosmetic industry is definitely feeling the pressure from these consumers to offer more bio-based solutions. I assume this is happening throughout other industries as well. Across the country, what we're seeing from farms to research labs, innovators are finding ways to use bio-based ingredients to replace conventional formulations that have relied on petroleum-based chemicals. Some of the best minds in the agri-chem world are working on these new products and solutions. It's really exciting. And the success of these efforts can be seen in what we call a thriving bioeconomy. In a 2018 report of the economic impact of the U.S. bio-based products industry, this was prepared by our BioPreferred program, it was found that bio-based products contribute $459 billion to the U.S. economy. That growth is being seen across all states not just in areas of our country or states with a focus on agriculture. Expectations are that this bioeconomy, this this economy based on the value of new carbon, it's going to continue to flourish as increased bio-based formulations and products are developed and launched. As the natural and bio-based movements continue to grow, the cosmetic industry needs to present consumers with one clear definition of natural or plant-based. How can the USDA BioPreferred program help consumers cut through this confusion and clutter? You know, Audrey, as the official federal government entity charged with setting and promoting strict bio-based content standards, we can assure anyone interested in bio-based products whether they're a commercial buyer or the end-use customer, that when they look for the USDA-certified bio-based product label, they can buy with confidence. We've seen through this edu-series, Intellex's innovation approach in the bio-based space with regard to your personal care product intermediates. I guess the question we have is, are your customers going to seek and display the label and fulfill the promise that demanding consumers are looking for. Thank you so much, Kate, for being with us today and sharing your expertise on this program. Audrey, the thanks really goes to you and and all the folks at Intellex in all of your business units. You haven't been working with the program for too long, but uh, your company has been an enthusiastic and effective educator helping us all move the needle on the importance of bio-based innovation. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. Yes, we are really excited to be working together as well. We have a great partner in the BioPreferred program. This is a very valuable program for us so we can deliver transparency and objectivity about the natural content of our ingredients to our customers. In part three of the Goodbye Greenwashing Edu series, we will explore Intellect's ingredients that have received the USDA BioPreferred certification 
as well as other industry standard natural certifications reviewed in part one. Intellix's commitment to the principles of green chemistry guides innovation of unique ingredients with high performance benefits. It is important for us to move the industry forward in the natural and sustainable space. So creating products that actually perform is of course critical to our success. Part three will dive into some key products and show how to formulate with high performance bio-based ingredients across categories.